When this object was found um, in the Karen Valley during the construction of waterworks just to the west of Denny in 1889, uh, it was identified as a paddle. Uh, and you can see from the shape of the object that it has a, a circular section, central section, which acts like a hand grip, and plano convex ends. So it does indeed look like a, a paddle. Um, however, with the discovery of more complete examples in the rest of Europe, um, it was I eventually identified as a bow uh, for use in archery. Um, bows were the first long distance weapons uh, that uh, they had in this part of the world and they'd be used for hunting, um, uh, particularly for food uh, for the table, uh, but also in warfare. Uh, you know, so they can see why they would be very important to society at the time. The design of bows is you know, absolutely amazing. It may look simple, uh, but it's been formed over the years due to um, you know, practice uh, rather than uh, scientific analysis. Um, and what you have at the two ends is one side which is flat and the other side which is convex. And that allows you to have one side of the bow uh, squeezed under pressure um, so that it's contracted and the other side stretched um, and then for it to reverberate quite back very, very quickly um, so that it releases the arrow with some considerable force. Um, the, the Denny longbow itself uh, has now been dated by a radiocarbon assay to 1300 BC, uh, which is the cusp of the Neolithic into the Bronze Age. Uh, so it's a time of settled farming uh, and in the area. Uh, it's a time when society is becoming more complex. And the reason why it's been chosen as the first of our ten and a half objects is because it's made of oak. Um, oak is a totally inappropriate material uh, for use as a bow because it's not very elastic and uh, it's quite clear that the bow that we have in our possession is a stage prop uh, dating to the, the Neolithic. Um, and uh, it's been used as a symbol. It symbolises the hunting and the warfare rather than being part of that. Um, and, um, you know, p people have used items as symbols uh, for, for a long time, and it's very often hard to, to read what they mean. Uh, a number of years ago when I was working in the museum, I was handed a red triangular piece of cloth uh, by a Boy Scout, and I was told that it was for excellence in woodcraft. Uh, but without knowing that, you, it's just a red piece of cloth. Um, so it's the symbolism which is important. Uh, we think that the, the Denny bow would have been used by a priest or the, the big man in the area, the chief, uh, to represent uh, a badge of office, uh, much like a uh, provost's um, badge of office uh, now does. Um, so it represents a symbolism, but also showing that society is hierarchical, it's structured at this early date, uh, as I say, at the cusp of the Neolithic and Bronze Age. And that's why it's the first of our ten and a half objects.